This segment of Delmarva Life is sponsored by AC Plant and Turf. Plant care that benefits not individual homeowners, but entire neighborhoods. Isn't it nice to cruise through a development and see all the gorgeous landscaping? It truly is a sight to see. It is. Mm. Now, what you might not always be thinking about is the team of professionals behind all of that vibrant vegetation. Teams like the experts at AC Plant and Turf with us this afternoon is Richie Thurman, who is the president and owner of AC Plant and Turf. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, good to see you guys Love again. Talking mm. to you. So, you've got something that you can offer to an HOA or an entire community? Yeah, the program is very similar to what we do for just homeowners. The big difference is the amount and, and quality of the trees that are in the community. So where you may have 10 or 15 plants to take care of at your house, there's hundreds or even thousands. And so obviously that you know, has uh, some different challenges with it. One being budgeted, you know, budgets for communities and making sure that they can afford plant care. Right. Um, one of the things that we found is it's always cheaper to treat than it is to remove and replace. So creating programs that are custom to communities that actually fit their budgets and also does the work. And then there's some, some challenges in communities. Uh, the street trees, especially in that devil strip area, is always a challenge because of lack of nutrients and a lot of environmental factors. And one of the big things that we run into too is sidewalks cracking, um, creating hazards. So, Having custom things like air spading and putting in root barriers and things like that that are just, we don't always do that for residential properties and it seems like right. that's more abundant now in communities. Wow. So talk about the benefits of having the HOA uh, service. You service the whole community. Yeah, we have a lot of communities in Delmarva. Um, I think the big thing for that we've seen over time is communities that are taking care of their plant material, um, trees, shrubs, things like that. One, um, it's, it's cost effective, uh, again, it's always better to treat than it is to remove and replace. And two, the community has, um, aesthetically, it's a little more pleasing, but a lot of times it helps speed up the process of, hey, this is a new community, so we planted young trees. And what you really want is uh, a look of maturity in the community. So by doing the treatments, it kind of speeds up the process. Um, trees look healthier and fuller, and it seems to be really working in all the communities that we work in. How in the world do you do that for an entire community? Eric, we have a team that comes in and goes, here's all the issues with your community. Here's all the things that we can help you with. Okay. And then let's take a look at your budget. And maybe your budget doesn't fit everything right now, but let us work with you and try to get you in a point of, one, let's make sure that you're staying where you're at and you're not losing trees. And right. two, how can we move you forward? So with the newer communities, there is a transition between the developers and the HOA. You can help with that as well? Yes, so we, we do work with developers. Um, a lot of times developers will hire us towards the end of the, the transition as the community is being built out. And sometimes the HOA directly hires us. So mm -hmm. the big thing is taking a look at what trees were planted to make sure that the trees that were planted there are going to survive and that the community themselves, once they take over the, uh, the HOA from the developer, isn't going to get hit with a huge bill of tree replacements and things like that. So we like to come in, check for pests and disease issues, make sure that they're set for the next 10 years, and then give them a plan of, here's a nice transition plan um, to move forward, and, and that seems to put people on the right footing. Um, okay, so let me ask you about something you already said. Okay. Um, what is air spading and root barriers? So air spading is, is soft digging. You actually just use air to blast all of the soil away. We call it soft digging because if there's electrical lines or power lines or anything like that that's in the way, or irrigation, we don't cut them by right. doing this. Right. It removes all of the soil that's it's, say, up against a sidewalk, and then we actually prune the roots just like you would prune the tree. So if you ran through with like uh, a saw and you cut it, you'd have jagged um, roots there, which can cause infection and, and really can hurt the tree. The root barrier is something that we really have gotten into where we're installing in communities from sidewalks. We're doing a project now that's going to take three years. It's huge where we go through. They've had a lot of people trip. They've had a lot of hazards. They've had some lawsuits. So they're redoing all of their walking paths. So what we do is we go in, we evaluate the trees, and we evaluate the root structure. We'll come in, we'll air spade out trenches. Okay. Then we trim the roots, and then we install, and it looks like it's a plastic barrier is what it is, but we install that in the ground, and so when the roots hit it, it they're deflected off of it, instead of going underneath the sidewalk and breaking it. Gotcha. So it's, it's safe for the tree. It's good because you're not breaking irrigation lines or cable lines, and people love when you knock their internet out for the yes. day. So, <laughs> so it's really good for doing a soft dig there and then installing that, which really becomes a major, it's so much more cost effective than removing right. and replacing the sidewalk, which yeah. we run into that issue a lot in communities. Mm -hmm. So, 
So what has your feedback been like from uh, communities that you've serviced? So once a community starts on the program, we lose very few of them because they see, um, they see the benefits pretty rapidly within the first year. We always tell people like it takes two years. The first mm -hmm. year you shouldn't see any decline in the trees. The second year you should start seeing things move forward. But we've been pretty blessed in the fact that it seems like we go in and go, okay, you're, you know, with the pet problems that you have, you're probably going to lose 10% or 12% of your trees. We always kind of do a little bit better than that. Right. So people are usually impressed from the get-go. And the other thing is the big part is the communication. So our arborists are really good about communicating here, here's issues, working with the landscaper that's always in there. Okay. So if we're looking at things, we would say, okay, you could do A, B, and C to this tree, but it's not cost effective. In this case, this tree is better to remove than to spend the money on it. Right. Or what you need to do in the next few years is trim the tree. So we really help communities have a three and five year plan so they know how to budget. And that, that works really, really well. So. That, that's wow. That's incredible. <laughs> Richie Thurman, thank you so it's much. Great seeing you guys again. Wonderful, yeah, wonderful. Good to see you. Yeah.